Welcome back everybody. And I want to show you how you can make violin plots using open charts. So I've already uploaded the data set I'm interested in. It's the auto MPG data set. Now I can go over here, choose if I want to see the data or if I don't want to. In this case, I don't want to. Of course, you can click it back and add it. Um, chart type, I want it to be violin. On the X axis, I want the origin. On the Y axis, I want the horsepower. You know, and this shows as as a violin plot the distribution of the horsepower in the different regions. So we can also, you know, decide to color it by the origin, which we've done here. There are different options for how you want the violin plot to be. But this is not having an effect on this particular use case. Um, we can say if we want to see the box or not. Yes, we want to. Um, then there are other options. You can change this to, you know, logarithmic if you want to, but we don't. We don't care for that. You can change that to logarithmic as well, which is fine. So these are some of the options you can specify for a violin plot. Um, of course, let's change this title. Violin plot. Okay. And you can download this as any format you want. Let's do a JPEG now. So it's downloading and let me open it. And there you have it. Um, let me bring it into focus. So this is it. This is essentially it, right? So you can then embed this wherever you want to embed it. And yeah, um, I'll add some more features or attributes for violin plots as I go back to the code. Of course, you're welcome to also contribute to the code. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. I'll see you in another video where we tackle another chat type. Thank you.